Larry Beal. How are you, Larry? We're going down memory lane here. This is this is crazy. This is great, isn't it? How have you been? You're good. I'm great. I'm great. You know, I, I started to to look up some stuff. Yeah. When your producer had called, I mean, I when he said 20 years. Yep. I was just frozen. I was like, "What?" Yeah. Well, I mean, it, but my first thought was, "Oh my God, we're we're getting old quickly here." Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I just, I mean, it it just seems like like a flash just i mean um i still remember your knicks highlight oh, I think it was the first highlight of the show you you have to tell the knicks highlight well I, to be honest with you that was the second show because we did another one the next day it wasn't part of this one but the knicks really? highlight yeah it's not on this wow. it, this was a half hour saturday we did the sunday also and the knicks okay. highlight i did the entire minute long plus highlight of the knicks in marv albert's voice from beginning yeah. to end and then I threw it to you on camera next, and the look that you had was just, <laughs> I think I frightened you. Did I? Well, the, you, <laughs> it was, well, it was funny because, you know, everybody does a little whatever their own shtick is. Yeah. And so I remember, you know, you, uh, you, you doing like a few seconds of Marv, and it was, you did a great Marv Albert. Yes. And we were all like, Okay, all right. This guy's got some, you know, he's got some tools that he's bringing to the party here. And then you kept going as Marv and going. And then I, I forgot who was producing the show, but, you know, I, a voice in my ear says, is he going to do the whole show as Marv? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, no, just we the were highlight. scared at that point that somebody was going to have to intercede and say something. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, it ended appropriately. And then the rest of the show went on. Uh, but it, that that caught that caught us by surprise. You know, so funny nonetheless. But I'm with Larry Beal here. 20 years after we did my first Sports Center together here on the Rich Eisen Show, do you? I mean, if you don't recall, that's fine. Uh, do you remember thinking, wh wh who is this? Who is this kid? And was was I any good, Larry? And I, I what I remember is uh, Redding, California. That's right. And uh, and because. I had come from California you know, before I was in Hawaii and then was in the San Francisco Bay Area. Pretty much, I mean, in the middle of, of Connecticut, anybody who was from California was okay with me. Mm. And so, and so you, you could have... I mean, you could have done Marv Albert for three shows, and I would have said, that's, that's okay, he's from California, he'll be fine, he'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Um, so, but no, I mean... You know, and I think the, the the wonderful thing about like all this as I'm as I'm thinking back on it is I also did Kenny Maine's first show. No way. Yes. So, um, and that was I don't. It was a little bit more. I don't. I think I was a little bit more nervous for Kenny at that time because Kenny had done a lot of stuff, but he hadn't done Sports Center because he was involved with with launching ESPN too, and so there were some. I, th I would. I don't want to say there was doubt, but it was just like that first that first show is always just a little bit nerve wracking. Oh, I was so nervous, Larry. You have well, no how idea. How could you not be? Well, because as I mentioned in the or previous on this show, is it was right in the middle of the round of 32, and so they were cutting the highlights during the show, and I, yeah. so I, I I hadn't seen any. I saw one high. I think like one golf highlight I might have seen before going downstairs with you to do that show, but it's interesting you mentioned Kenny because there is a promo during the Sports Center for RPM Tonight with <laughs> Kenny Maine. Wow. Where we did that, and then there was, you know, uh, an NBA Tonight commercial with Stewart. Stewart was the host of that. Right. Um, there was also Tom Meese, who passed away six months after the, you know, later on that year. Mm -hmm. He was doing a promo from a hockey game that was on ESPN2. Wow. I just remember walking in, Larry, and just looking at everybody in that room, in that roster, in that newsroom, and I was overwhelmed. Kilborn, Dan, Keith, Robin Roberts, it's Charlie, uh, Bob Lee, uh, Berman. I mean, it was really a remarkable time that we were able to anchor Sports Center together. When you think about well, it, well, and yeah, and think just, I think there were eleven of us total. Yeah, eleven. Now there's like five hundred guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, I, and women, I, I yeah. Mean, God, God, God love them. I mean, but I turn on the TV sometimes, and I have no idea. I just don't. I, you know, I mean, there was eleven of us. I remember, I remember doing, like, 
uh, it was either a Saturday night or a Sunday night mm-hmm. or, so, with with Mike Tirico. Yeah. And, you know, Tirico was, I mean, you could tell he was just a, a star waiting to explode. And I remember sitting there with him thinking, this has to be like the last thing on his mind that he wants to be doing right now. Mm. Um, and I, I also remember... Um, uh, we were we well. People inside the business would understand when you get a, like so many highlights in a very short show, uh, you you just end up uh, transitioning from one highlight to another. No, yeah. so in other words, no on camera, no FaceTime, right? right? Which is uh, so you just it, uh, in the business call it wipe, wipe, wipe. Where you just keep wiping to the next thing, going to the next thing. Well, that's when I, I would re- yeah, I would I would I would use my my least favorite tie for that show. Like oh, I'll wear this tie. On that show. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. uh, there's a strategy to this. We're thinking this out. Oh, yeah. And I remember uh, doing that one with Chirico and, and, um, and you know, it's just, it's, I don't want to, no show is a throwaway because there's, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. There, exactly. But nobody's seeing you. And so Chirico comes back from a break and he, he says, welcome back to headline sports. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. And, and I thought. I can't, I can't believe you did it because the headline sports at the time was a CNN signature hey. thing, but it was like a minute and a half and nobody on camera. And and I was like, wow, this guy's pretty secure to uh, yeah. <laughs> say that. Well, you know, Larry, it's because- interesting. I do remember walking in uh, to ESPN one of the first days and looking up, there was a bulletin board in the old newsroom that kind of looked like a... Um, you know, like a, a NASA uh, mission control where it was one row after another, if you remember that setup that we had. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. they would always post the ratings of the 6 o'clock Sports Center, Eastern, the 11 o'clock Sports Center, and whatever Fred Hickman and. Um, uh, and, and it was it Nick Charles? Nick Charles and Fred Hick, yes, were doing on CNN. That was a major, major um, competitor. Of ESPN right. when when I first started, that I remember that day too, you know. That's that's pretty remarkable, and it, that just shows you the test of time that ESPN has stood and the the quality of the people there. And you know, we're we're throwing out names here. You know what what's cool is that like I ran into uh, Kenny because he was here for the Super Bowl, and we don't see each other hardly at all. Yeah, but the camaraderie that we still have is, I mean, it's instantaneous smiles and hugs from that time. And it, I don't know, it's, it's not quite being like the pioneers. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, we weren't panning for gold in Bristol, I don't no, think. No, we did not. We, we were not on horseback riding through Kansas City on a cold, wintry night. Although, I'll tell you, Bristol, Connecticut is, is yeah, it's cold. No, I know. It's well, cold. I remember that you were struggling with that, Larry, from Hawaii yeah. and California. Yeah. You and... Yeah. You and your family. You, you're. I, I do remember when it got really. When tw- and, and so Bill Pito, who is sort of like the the in-house meteorologist, would always go up to you, Larry. Larry, <laughs> driving home tonight. Look out for that black mm. ice on mm-hmm. Route Four. Be careful, Larry. It's cold out there. I remember. <laughs> I do remember that. That's Pito, funny. Man. Oh my yeah, yeah. Pito was. He was help- good with a lot of helpful information. Always. Like that. And, yeah. Who was your first? Up- who was your first sports center with, Larry? Who was your first uh, sports Kilbourne. center? Kilbourne. With, with Kilbourne. Oh, uh, Now Mr. Mac and Cheese. Did you Have you seen his commercial for Mac and Cheese? No. He's doing a Kraft Mac Kil- and Cheese commercial. Are yeah. you serious? Yes. I, it's amazing. I haven't seen him in forever. I assume that he's just, uh, you know, living the glamorous life somewhere by you. Um, <laughs> and after, with all that CBS cash from uh, uh, how many years. And he, I just, I'm, I watch it. I hear the voice. Uh, and I'm doing something. I'm like, what? I'm like, it's, it's it's killer. It's killer. He's, right there, he's doing a mac and cheese commercial. So how was that yes. first? How was that first show of yours with with Kilby? How was that? I was, oh my god! I was so nervous. I was so nervous, and um, and I remember he, uh, you know, we did the introduction in the beginning, and then he did the first highlight. Thank goodness. And then he turns to me and he goes, "Okay, new guy, go." <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said on the air? Yes, new guy. Oh yeah, and uh, and it, but it was good. I mean, I don't. The whole thing is a blur. The whole thing. I just. I remember, you know, thinking, "There's no way I'm going to get through a half an hour of this. There's no way." Well, um, I just remember Larry, mine again. How nervous I was. I hadn't seen any highlights. I had just come from Redding, California, which is wow. market 130, whatever it was. 
uh, and here I am living the dream, being on Sports Center, hearing that music, not really knowing where to go, but I do remember your steady hand to my left and how mm. nice you were and what a calming presence you were for me, to me. I didn't feel like I was being judged. I didn't feel like I was doing anything out of step except being myself, and I cannot thank you enough for that. Well, now. you're being too kind. It's I the mean, truth. You, you brought a lot of talent to the table. So oh, man. It really but wasn't much that I did, but... No, um, it's the truth. But, that, but that, this is the camaraderie that exists, and... You know, I don't I don't ever remember doing a show with anybody at any time um, where I thought, oh, th there's like there's a competition or anything like that. Or just I mean, I think we were all in it for the right reasons and to do great shows together and did. And that's that's that was the magic of, of uh, you know, of the pairings at the time and, and a testament really to the quality of the hiring of the people. Uh, by by ESPN. But, but we always had fun. We did. We, we always had fun. We and, did. Um, and, you know, so and, and look at where everybody's careers have gone from this point. Some have stayed, some have moved on. I mean, um, if I would have told you 20 years ago in the middle, I, I'm still obsessed with that Knicks highlight, to be quite honest. But uh, <laughs> you've got to get that, I guess. I, you got you got to get that. In fact, well, will see. I looked up March 16th, yeah. uh, 19, uh, 1996, and it was a Knicks Sixers game. But you're saying it was the seventh. Yeah, it had to because we just we watched we watched the whole half hour show and it's not on there. So I have to assume it was the next night when you and I did oh, the wow. next show. It has to be that. Wow. Yeah. I got all this in 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 uh, you know a la Craig Wax, who was a great researcher Craig back Wax. in the day. I did all this great research on the Nick Sixers game. Um, Patrick Ewing had twenty six and nine. Uh, Brad Lowhouse, DNPCD. <laughs> uh, uh, well, as uh, you know, that's a license plate of one of our colleagues. From, uh, really? from Yes, I don't want to say it on the air, but one okay. of our colleagues whose name has been mentioned in this broadcast, I mean in this segment, uh, his license plate is DNPCD. And I would always see it in the parking lot there in Bristol. Uh, Larry, I, I must say, I yeah. must say aloha yeah. to you. And that uh, unfortunately does not mean hello at this point in time. Because I'm, okay. I'm up That's against okay. the break. I just want to say thanks again. I, I really appreciate you calling in on, on, a, on a special day. For me. Oh, my pleasure. And, um, you know, let, let's, let's go 20 more. 20 more. We'll keep going. <laughs> we'll chat soon. <laughs> Thanks again, Larry. All right. Take you care, bet. Rich. That's at uh, Larry Beal, ABC7. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience. <laughs>